The Soybean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Pride Seeds, High Stick NT, and Cruiser Max Vibrance Beans. Joining us here on uh, the Soybean School on Real Agriculture, we have Dieter Schwartz, Market Development Manager for uh, Cantera when it comes to corn and soybeans. Cantera, of course, has a partnership with, uh, with Pride Seeds when it comes to uh, distribution in, uh, in the West. And uh, Dieter, we're looking at, uh, at these soybeans, still obviously uh, lush and, and uh, green, but uh, we're curious what to expect for, uh, for yield this fall. How can we, uh, how can we do some, uh, some calculating to, uh, to get some estimates? Well, with soybeans, unfortunately, uh, it, it's a little more difficult than with corn. Uh, it's a little, uh, little more cloudy of a crystal ball. Uh, soybeans tend to uh, vary in terms of how many pods per plant a lot more uh, than, uh, than what a corn does. So um, it, uh, it certainly um, is all dependent on how much effort you're willing to put into it and uh, how many plants you're willing to pull and how much of a sample size you're, you're willing to get. But uh, very similar to corn in the way you calculate it in that uh, it's all a matter of uh, evaluating your plant stand. So the number of plants per acre times the number of pods on the plant times the number of seeds in a pod um, divided by, and, and we can just take an average number um, of 3,000 seeds per pound. Um, as uh, some viewers will know that uh, some um, some varieties have a higher seed count, some have a lower count. If you know that, if you've kept your seed tag, um, you can use those numbers certainly, um, or you can just use kind of a standard number of, of 3,000. Uh, in terms of number of seeds per pod, once again, uh, depends how much effort you want to put into it. Um, ideally, you will take uh, 10 pods and, and count the number of seeds in a pod and uh, average that out over 10 pods or you can just use kind of a standard two and a half seeds per pod um, is kind of the generally accepted number that most people use to estimate yields. So then it's just a matter of uh, going in and, uh, and doing your stand evaluation yet again. Um, uh, as, uh, as with corn, it's always a good idea to uh, come out into the field and check your stand to see how you did in terms of planting see how you did in terms of plant health and to see how uh, if there was any uh, insect or disease pressures that may have adversely affected your your stand uh, it's a great time to check um, kind of a final check before harvest before it's uh, harder to see so once you've evaluated your uh, your plant stand and uh, we'll uh, maybe uh, go to the tailgate here to uh, to have a look at uh, how we do the calculation we'll get an umbrella in the meantime too <laughs> <laughs> rain makes grain <laughs> So with, uh, with soybeans, as, as we mentioned, it, it is also a relatively straightforward uh, formula, uh, not a lot of uh, magic to it. Uh, just your plants per acre, you need to determine your seeds per plant. Uh, then you are assuming that you have 3,000 seeds per pound. You come up with a pounds per acre, you divide it by 60 pounds per bushel, and you come out with a bushel per acre. So what that looks like in terms of pulling plants, as I mentioned, you can, uh, you can encounter a great uh, variation in the number of pods per plant. Uh, this one is somewhere in the neighborhood of, uh, of 30, whereas this one uh, was 60. So um, that can vary a lot. And uh, as I mentioned, uh, the more information you gather, the more accurate your estimate is going to be. However, with soybeans uh, being a highly variable crop, um, it's always going to be a much tougher uh, yield estimate than it is with corn. So in this particular case, um, I came out with about 160,000 plants um, and uh, came out with uh, about a 60 bushel uh, gross yield. Now you got to always take off about, I, uh, I may be a little pessimistic, but uh, 10 to 12% harvest loss. In an ideal world, you're at about seven and a half or eight. Um, and uh, so I came out with just over 50 bushels um, in this uh, instance. So uh, tremendous yield potential. Uh, as I said, that's an indication of the kind of year we had. We certainly had good moisture conditions. Uh, we had good, uh, good heat. And uh, 
as we've just experienced, we just had another rain shower here. So uh, we've had so far good moisture conditions in August, which is what we need for these soybeans to fill these pods and uh, to, uh, um, to give us that uh, plump uh, seed size that we need to, uh, to get those ponds per bushel.